Now let's learn another method of using the key card to perform some amazing magic. Trust me, the first time I saw somebody perform this, I was baffled. <laughs> so here we go. Somebody in the audience says select a card, they just take one out, I'll look away, you remember the card and don't forget it. Okay? Next is very simple. I just cut the cards and they have to place their card back into the center like so. The rest of the cards goes on top. Lost. Somewhere in the middle of the deck. At this point, you can hand the cards out to the audience and then they cut the cards as many times as they like. They can cut it face down or they can even cut the cards face up like so. They can cut again, like I said, any amount of times. Once they are happy, stop and then say this. Actually, when you are cutting the cards, I was actually tracking to see where your card is actually at. And I know it is exactly on the 12th position. The 12th position. Remember your card? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For the first time, what is the name of your card? The 8 of diamonds? 8 of diamonds it is. Now let's take a look at how to perform this card trick. This card trick is called Controlled Cut. And this is how you perform it. First, you need to prepare some cards. You need to take out all the spades and arrange them in this order, from Ace to King. Okay? Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The Jack will be 11, the Queen will be 12, and the King will be 13. Alright? Take all these cards and place it on the bottom of the deck like so. And you are ready. Now get somebody to select a card. In this case, the two of clubs. Remember that, the two of clubs, right? After they select the card, simply just swing cut the cards over. Remember the 13 cards are at the bottom and ask them to replace the card to the deck. At this point of time, you don't even have to remember anything. Just place the rest of the cards on top. Remember, the selected card is the two of clubs. Square the cards up and now you can hand the deck over to your audiences. And they can cut the cards as many times as they like. They can cut the cards face down. They can also cut the cards face up. And it's important that they cut the card face up. So, they can cut the cards face up like this. Face down, doesn't matter doesn't really matter. Whenever they cut to a spade like this, in this case, the six of spades, you know that their selected card is on the sixth position. It is just how the stack of 13 cards work. If they cut to the 10th, which means their card is on the 10th position. If they cut to the king, which means their card is on the 13th position. Whenever you see a spade, all you have to do now is just stop and tell them, I am actually secretly tracking where you are cutting the cards. And I know for a fact that your card is on the sixth position. <laughs> and then now you have to pick up the cards or they can take the cards as well and ask them to deal down six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And just like that, the sixth card will be their selected card, the two of clubs. It is that easy. So that was the controlled cut. I hope you enjoyed this little magic. A little tip to note, always prepare the cuts beforehand and have them inside the box. Do not prepare while performing and taking out the 13 spades and then rearranging them and placing them on the bottom. Never do that. I hope you enjoyed this cut trick. I really, really like it.